This video was made possible by Good Better Best Tuition Services. Please subscribe to this channel for the latest videos. Today we are going to be discussing integers. We are going to be looking at the addition and subtraction of integers as well as the multiplication and division of integers. Let's start with addition and subtraction. So let's have a look at how the number line works. When we add on the number line, we move towards the right. And when we subtract, we move towards the left. So if I say minus 2 plus 5, we'll start at negative 2 and add 5. There we see that minus 2 plus 5 is equal to 3. Now when we subtract, we say 5 minus 7 but we move towards the left. We start at 5 and we move 7 places to the left. So we see that 5 minus 7 is minus 2. However, we need to ask the question, what happens when the numbers are so big that it's a little bit difficult to draw a number line for them? Let's see what we need to do. So when we have bigger numbers, we use the DSB is a K method. When the signs are different, we subtract them and keep the sign of the bigger number. And if the signs are the same, we add them and we keep the sign. Let's look at this one for example. We've got negative 34 minus 2. What do we need to do? Are the signs the same or are they different? They are the same. So what do we do? We add 34 and 2. What do we get? We get 36 and we keep the sign which is negative so our answer will be minus 36. Let's look at minus 16 plus 24. Are the signs the same or are they different? They are different so we're going to use the DSB rule. The signs are different so we subtract and we keep the sign of the bigger number. The bigger number here is 24 and that sign is positive. So we say 24 minus 16 is 8 and it will obviously be positive 8. Let's look at minus 14 minus 6. Which rule do you think we should use? Are they different or are they the same? It's minus 14 and minus 6. The signs are the same so we use the SAK rule. So the signs are the same, we add them. 14 and 16 is 20 and we keep the sign. Lastly, let's look at minus 13 plus 2. Are the signs the same or are they different? They are different, so we subtract the two numbers. 13 minus 2 is 11 and we keep the sign of the bigger number, which in this case is 13. So your answer will be minus 11. Now when we do multiplication and division, we should know that a negative times a negative is a positive, a negative divided by a negative is a positive, a negative times a positive is a negative, and a negative divided by a positive is a negative. So I'd like you to look at this. Do you see the signs are the same? Both negative, so it will give us a positive. There it's both negative as well, so it will give us a positive. However, when we have a negative and a positive, and we multiply them together, it will always give us a negative. Or a negative divided by a positive will give you a negative. I like to use this negi negi pos neg pos negi. In other words, a negative divided or multiplied by a negative will always give you a positive. And then a negative divided by or multiplied by a positive will always give you a negative. It's just something to help you along the way. So what if I were to say minus 4 times minus 2? The first thing we would do is say a negative times a negative is a positive. And then we say 4 times 2 is 8. What if I were to say negative 16 divided by 4? You know that the 4 has an invisible plus sign. And a negative divided by a positive is a negative. And 16 divided by 4 is 4. 
39 divided by negative 13. We know that 13 has an invisible plus, so it's positive 39 divided by negative 13. Positive divided by negative is a negative, and 39 divided by 13 is 3. So your answer is negative 3. Let's look at our final example. Minus 32 divided by minus 8. A negative divided by negative is a positive. 32 divided by 8 is 4. Negative 32 divided by negative 8. We know that a negative divided by negative is a positive, and 32 divided by 8 is 4. Now let's look at this example. Minus 4 minus minus 2. So you know, according to Bodmas rules, that you've got to work out that bracket first. You've got to simplify it. So we have a negative and we have a negative. What do we need to do? We need to multiply the two negatives together in order to simplify it. What is a negative times a negative? It is a positive. So let's do that. So when we multiply the negative times the negative, we get a positive. That gives us minus 4 plus 2. Now we've got to go to our DSB SAK rules. So are the signs the same or are they different? They are different. And when the signs are different, we need to subtract them and keep the sign of the bigger number. So we say 4 minus 2 is 2. And we keep the sign of the bigger number, which is minus. If you look at number 2, there are two sets of brackets. So here we need to simplify and we're going to say a negative times a positive is a negative. So we carry the 3 down and then that becomes minus 4 because a negative times a positive is a negative. We've got to simplify this as well. A positive times a negative is a negative. So there are three terms here. How do we apply our DSB and SAK rules? What we need to do is we group the negatives and we group the positives. Then we have minus 4 and minus 2. What do we do? How do we add them when the signs are the same? The signs are the same, we use the SAK rule. Signs are the same, we add them and keep the signs. So minus 4 minus 2, we add them together. That gives us minus 6. So now we go ahead and we say 3 minus 6. Is it the same or is it different? It's different. So we subtract the 2. 6 minus 3 is 3 and we keep the sign of the bigger number, which is negative. Let's look at our final complex example. We have 5 minus 3 minus 7 in brackets minus 1 plus 9. Now what we need to do is we need to look at our brackets first. So let's look at 3 minus 7. Are the signs the same or are they different? They are different. So if they are different, we subtract the two numbers and we keep the sign of the bigger number. So when we simplify that bracket, our answer will be negative 4. However, however, that negative 4 needs to remain in a bracket because there's a negative in front of it, which we need to simplify further. What is a negative times a negative? A negative times a negative is a positive. That leaves us with 5 plus 4 minus 1 plus 9. And what do we need to do? We need to group the positives and the negatives together. That gives us 18 minus 1, which is equal to 17. Thank you for watching with us. And then if you need tuition in maths, English, Afrikaans, physics or accounting, grades 1 to 12, we can help. We are based in Lotus River, Cape Town, and you are welcome to contact me on 082-781-7703.